Welcome to this quick Microsoft Deployment Manager demo. Once you log in, make sure you're using the project you wish to use. For this demo, I'm going to analyze a combination of SCCM and RV tool data for around 3,000 servers and 10,000 workstations to obtain the Microsoft license requirements. Other data sets just need to be uploaded to the specific uploaders or to the universal uploader. By simply dragging and dropping the three SCCM exports onto the platform, the file names are validated and I can click process. How to obtain these exports can be found on our help center. Next, I do the same for an RV tool export containing the required virtualization information. Depending on the environment size and upload speed, the time taken to process can vary. Once processed, the Microsoft Deployment Report will become available. At a high level, we can see the server and client counts, device types along with products grouped by client or server. Further down in the deployment summary, we can see for every product the license metric and requirement based on the deployment data. The raw software name is taken directly from the raw data and the product name is mapped to our catalog based on machine learning. You can search for specific values across all tables. Next we have actionable insights, detailing things such as CAL licenses required, user declaration for things like Visual Studio, any discontinued or unsupported products identified that potentially shouldn't be there, missing information and more. When it comes to Windows and SQL Server details, we can see every physical host, their associated cluster if they're in one, along with a list of all virtual machines on each physical host. Next, we can see the host operating system, the highest version virtual machine on the host, along with the lowest version for virtualization optimization. We also show the licensing metric, total licensable cores, which is the host's license requirements if no virtual machines were present, total VM count, and therefore total licensing requirements, the licensing requirements if the host was licensed with data center, if vMotion is enabled, number of physical devices and virtual machines in the cluster, information on each virtual machine on the host, general hardware information including site codes if available, along with high-level OS details for each individual virtual machine. Scrolling down, you can see similar level of detail for all other Microsoft products. We hope you found this quick demo useful. For more information on MDM, don't hesitate to reach out. Thank you.